the world initially began seeing dynamite pictures of the universe caught by the Strong James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. Sent off by NASA, this aggressive and weighty venture has indeed reformed how we might interpret the universe by sending back a progression of surprising new pictures. These most recent visuals have shocked researchers and lovers alike, giving insights that challenge existing speculations and open up new domains of investigation, unlike anything we have ever observed. These pictures offer us a brief look into the most far-off and cryptic locales of the universe, pushing the limits of human knowledge to unknown regions. Before we start hitting the like and subscribe buttons for more restrictive news, the JWST, intended to be the replacement for the Hubble Space Telescope, has surpassed expectations with its high-level infrared abilities. This permits it to peer deeper into the universe than any other instrument before it. While Hubble provided stunning perspectives on the universe in visible light, the James Webb Telescope fundamentally works in the infrared range. This ability empowers it to slice through vast dust clouds and uncover the secrets of star development, black holes, and early cosmic structure formation. The telescope's most recent pictures have revealed regions of the universe that were previously hidden from us, offering new information about phenomena that have long perplexed space experts. One of the most critical pictures returned by the JWST shows a region of space so far off that it goes back to a couple of hundred million years after the Big Bang. This period in cosmic history, known as the Dark Ages of the Universe, has been largely shrouded in mystery. During this time, the first stars and galaxies began to form, and the universe started to emerge from its primordial state. Interestingly, researchers are now seeing proof of these earliest structures with phenomenal clarity, permitting them to sort out the events that shaped the early universe. In these new pictures, thick billows of gas and dust, heavenly nurseries, can be seen birthing stars. These locales are among the most violent and turbulent in the universe, where gravity organizes colossal amounts of matter to ignite the atomic reactions that form stars. The JWST has captured intricate details of this interaction, showing stars in various stages of their development and offering a window into the life cycles of stars in a way that has never been possible before. By examining these pictures, Astronomers can learn about the conditions under which stars are born and how these cycles have changed over billions of years. In addition to heavenly nurseries, the James Webb Telescope has also captured pictures of distant galaxies, many of which have never been seen before. These galaxies are so far away that their light has taken billions of years to reach us, meaning we are seeing them as they appeared when the universe was still in its infancy. The telescope's unmatched resolution has revealed complex structures within these galaxies, including massive black holes at their centers and star clusters that are far older than our own Milky Way. These black holes are particularly intriguing, as they challenge our current understanding of how these objects form and evolve. Some of the black holes seen in these pictures are much larger and surprisingly active, suggesting they were in an early stage of the universe's history. Speculations about how black holes grow often suggest that they start as small, dense objects that gradually accumulate mass over time by consuming surrounding matter. However, the JWST data suggests that some black holes may have formed fully developed or experienced rapid growth, forcing astronomers to reevaluate their models of black hole formation. The images of these early galaxies also raise questions about how galaxies themselves form and evolve. Some of the galaxies observed by the JWST are strikingly well-organized, with defined spiral arms and central bulges, despite being so young in cosmic terms. This degree of organization is surprising, as it was previously believed that galaxies in the early universe would be more chaotic and irregular in shape due to the violent processes involved in their formation. The discovery of these well-formed galaxies suggests that galaxy formation may occur much more quickly than previously thought which has significant implications for how we interpret the universe's early years. The JWST has also provided a stunning new perspective on perhaps the most puzzling objects in the universe, exoplanets. These are planets that orbit stars beyond our solar system, and while many exoplanets have been found over the past few decades, we still know very little about their atmospheres and potential for supporting life. The James Webb Telescope's infrared capabilities have allowed researchers to study the chemical compositions of exoplanet atmospheres more meticulously than ever before. Some of the new pictures and data have revealed astonishing findings, including the presence of water vapor, methane, 
and other organic molecules on certain exoplanets. These discoveries are especially exciting because they bring us closer to answering one of the most significant questions in science. Are we alone in the universe? The presence of organic molecules in an exoplanet's atmosphere does not necessarily mean that life exists on these planets, but it suggests that the building blocks of life are more common in the universe than previously thought. These discoveries could ultimately lead to the identification of habitable worlds beyond our solar system, potentially influencing how we think about life in the universe. The JWST's new pictures also provide critical insights into the end stages of stellar life. The telescope has captured detailed views of supernova remnants, immense glowing clouds of gas and dust left behind after a star explodes. These remnants are not just beautiful, but also scientifically significant, as they are the sites where many of the heavier elements in the universe are formed. When a star goes supernova, it generates massive amounts of energy, which fuses lighter elements like hydrogen and helium into heavier elements like carbon, oxygen, and iron. These elements are then dispersed across space, becoming part of new stars, planets, and eventually life itself. The James Webb Space Telescope's new pictures, which delve into the earliest chapters of the universe's existence, have opened a window into a cosmic context we could hardly comprehend before. What makes these pictures particularly moving isn't just their beauty, but their ability to unlock mysteries of the universe that were once far too elusive. These never-before-seen scenes of distant galaxies, nebulae, and cosmic structures are forcing us to reevaluate what we assumed we knew about the universe. While the images of distant galaxies and exotic phenomena have captured the public imagination, one of the most astonishing revelations made by the JWST involves objects much closer to home, the outer regions of our own solar system. The telescope's infrared sensors have been able to focus on the icy bodies at the edges of the solar system uncovering new insights about their composition and surface characteristics. For example, the telescope captured a detailed image of Pluto's moon Charon, revealing a complex landscape of icy plains and mountain ranges that had previously been invisible to us. These observations of the outer solar system could help researchers understand the formation of planetary bodies in icy, distant regions of space. The Kuiper Belt, an immense region of space beyond Neptune that contains thousands of icy objects has long been a mystery to astronomers. The JWST's ability to study these objects in detail could provide new insights into how planets form in the outer reaches of solar systems, offering clues about how our own solar system came to be. Beyond individual discoveries, the James Webb Space Telescope is also helping to answer perhaps one of the greatest questions in cosmology. How did the universe evolve into its current state? By capturing images of galaxies, stars, and planets at different evolutionary stages, the telescope is assisting in creating a timeline of cosmic history. These observations allow researchers to track the evolution of galaxies and stars over billions of years, providing a more complete picture of the universe's past, present, and future. One of the key discoveries from the JWST's latest images is the realization that the universe's early years were far more dynamic than previously thought. The pictures show galaxies forming at a faster rate than expected, with dramatic bursts of star formation occurring in rapid succession. This challenges the long-held view that the early universe was relatively calm and that galaxy formation happened slowly over billions of years. Instead, it seems that the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang were a time of intense activity, with galaxies rapidly forming and evolving in ways that researchers are just now beginning to understand. The James Webb Space Telescope's ability to look so far back in time is largely due to its exceptional sensitivity. By observing in the infrared range, the telescope can detect the faintest traces of light that have traveled billions of light years across space. This light, emitted by stars and galaxies in the early universe, has been stretched and redshifted over time as the universe expands. The JWST's capacity to capture this ancient light allows researchers to see objects that are so far away that their light has taken nearly the entire age of the universe to reach us. In addition to looking deep into the past, the JWST is also providing a new perspective on the structure of the universe itself. The pictures reveal vast cosmic webs of dark matter and galaxies stretching across the universe like a spider's web. These networks, formed by the gravitational pull of dark matter, are the foundation of the universe's large-scale structure. 
By mapping these structures, researchers hope to better understand the role that dark matter plays in the formation and evolution of galaxies. The JWST pictures provide a clearer view of these astronomical networks than ever before, offering new insights about the nature of dark matter and its impact on the universe. As the James Webb Space Telescope continues to send back new images, it is becoming increasingly evident that we are entering a new era of discovery in astrophysics. The telescope's ability to see farther and more clearly than any previous instrument is transforming how we understand the universe, providing answers to long-standing questions while raising new ones. Each new picture uncovers a universe that is more complex and beautiful than we ever imagined, full of wonders that challenge our understanding of space, time, and the fundamental nature of reality. One of the most captivating aspects of these new discoveries is how they challenge existing models of cosmic evolution. Take, for instance, the idea of cosmic inflation, a rapid expansion of the universe shortly after the Big Bang. While the concept has been widely accepted, JWST revelations are uncovering that the universe's early years may have been far more dynamic than previously suspected. The exceptional detail provided by the JWST of the first galaxies formed within the initial few hundred million years after the Big Bang suggests that galaxy formation could have occurred more quickly and under more intense conditions than standard inflationary models predict. These galaxies, far from being small and chaotic as once expected, appear to be significantly more organized. They display properties such as high star formation rates and are made up of materials that indicate an advanced chemical composition. These discoveries suggest that the universe was able to evolve more rapidly than models had expected, compelling astrophysicists to reconsider their assumptions about how stars and galaxies formed in the universe's first few billion years. Additionally, the discovery of early supermassive black holes, a phenomenon observed in some of these distant galaxies, presents another significant challenge. Researchers have long puzzled over how such massive black holes could have formed so early in the universe's history. Given that black holes are typically thought to form from the collapse of massive stars, a process that would likely take longer than what these early black holes appear to suggest. JWST's sharp imaging capabilities have uncovered evidence of black holes with millions of times the mass of the Sun, existing when the universe was less than a billion years old. This striking discovery raises important questions about how black holes can grow so quickly in such a short time. These observations also provide a crucial new perspective on the role that black holes may have played in shaping the early universe. The energy released by growing black holes, in the form of radiation and powerful jets of charged particles, may have influenced the formation and evolution of galaxies. This interaction between supermassive black holes and their host galaxies is an area of research that the JWST pictures have helped to illuminate. By studying these early black holes and their effects on surrounding gas and stars, researchers can begin to understand how galaxies formed in the first billion years of the universe's history. However, black holes and galaxies aren't the only mysterious phenomena illuminated by the JWST's state-of-the-art instruments. The telescope is also bringing clarity to one of the universe's most elusive components, dark matter. The James Webb Space Telescope is not only revealing vast phenomena, but is also providing crucial data that informs our understanding of fundamental astrophysical processes. For example, the telescope's observations of the cosmic microwave background have enhanced our insights into the universe's early conditions, shedding light on its expansion history and the nature of dark energy. This background radiation, a remnant from the Big Bang, is essential for piecing together the timeline of cosmic evolution. Moreover, the JWST is helping to refine our models of stellar evolution. By observing various types of stars at different life stages, astronomers can explore the processes that govern stellar nucleosynthesis, the formation of heavier elements within stars. This research is vital for understanding how elements essential for life are distributed throughout the universe. Additionally, the JWST's ability to capture the atmospheres of exoplanets using transit methods allows scientists to study seasonal changes and climatic factors. Such detailed observations could lead to the discovery of potential biosignatures, which are indicators that life could exist on these distant worlds.